Good morning, lovers. It is February 14th, 2022. It's a Valentine's Day, and I am in Palmdale, California. And uh, today is another travel day on the trains. Um, I'm walking to the Palmdale um, Transit Center. It's 1.6 miles away. Um, I could take a lift there, but it's a beautiful day, and I'm going to be sitting on my ass on the train all day. So I'm going to take a little walk, hopefully find some food on the way. Um, it's 11 a.m., and my train doesn't leave until 11 or 12.20, so I've got plenty of time to get there. All right, now, now I know where I'm going. Uh, using Apple Maps to walk, to uh, map this walk because it does show the directions on my watch. So it's a little bit more convenient so I don't have to leave the uh, phone out. But as you see the sign right ahead is the uh, Palmdale Auto Mall. It's basically all the car dealerships in the area are over here. Uh, my friend Jason was telling me that his, uh, his girlfriend had to come up here to take care of some business with her car recently. So people from the LA area come up here for greater deals in the desert. That's a Palmdale tumbleweed right there. There's some weird street names, but I'm turning right on Avenue Q. Avenue Q. Isn't that like a like a puppet, like a not Muppet thing. Was it called Avenue Q? I never got to see that. Go big and drive home. Palmdale Auto Mall, over 2,000, all right, 15 feet. <laughs> so there's a 15 feet turn right on Avenue Q. Okay, so in half a mile, just over half a mile, I'll turn left on Carroll Side Avenue. 50 miles per hour on the street right here. That's fast for a side street. Look at those mountains in the background. See the snow on top of there? And there's the freeway. I'm not sure what freeway that is. But that's... This is why I wanted to walk this morning. So I could just see this. This is beautiful. See this back in Houston. Helicopters, helicopters flying there. We're close to military area, Lockheed. That doesn't look like a military helicopter though. I'm not even sure, I can't see. That yeah, looks like that could be a military plane up there. Like a jet. Lots of jet planes around here. Actually, that reminds me, the uh Lancaster is the next town up. When we the Astros had a, uh, I'm not sure, is the Lancaster Jethawks still a thing? I'm not sure, but some of the, the best players for the Astros organization played in Lancaster, just up the road. The Jethawks, named after the the Jets in this area. And there are Hawks too. We saw a hawk coming down here the other day, so that was cool. Here's the official entrance, the Antelope Valley Auto Center here. Of course, the first thing you see is the Honda. Honda place. Honda's number one. They need to sponsor me one day. Well, it looks like this is where the sidewalk ends. That kind of sucks, Palmdale. I'm trying to walk through here. And you can see there's neighborhoods back here, so maybe uh, the sidewalk will pick back up. Gonna work, walk on some uh, gravelly area here. That's a river, apparently. It's dry as a bone. There's some road work ahead. Hopefully they're uh, installing some freaking sidewalks over here. There's a lot of trash on this little desert area here. Can't be good for the uh, for the wildlife in this area. The collection of prayer candles right there. That is a bit strange. I don't know. But we do have sidewalk. 
We do have sidewalk again. We're back in civilization. See, they're doing construction on this road here. Sweet, sweet pavement. Right, we're in the city of Palmdale, Vista del Sol neighborhood. Taking a left on Carroll Side Avenue. Gonna be walking through the neighborhood here. I'm walking in this neighborhood and you know some people have little parts of sidewalk in their yard, some people don't. They got a cool classic old car sitting there. Got a few of them. That's really cool. This old Mustang. It's got 92, I think. It's one with the faster motor. Here I'm gonna turn on Avenue P12. Uh, they really name the streets here really weird. They all have like 08, 04, P12. I don't know. And for, this is an unfortunate uh, memorial here. It's like a young man lost his life. It's pretty sad. Baseball catcher, football player. So he was into golf, basketball. He's just an athletic uh, guy. Young man lost his life too short. That's that's a shame. Here is the park with the little league and everything. They're doing some construction over here. Again, no sidewalks, and I can see it that. Uh, that little dome tower up there, that's the train station. That's where I'm going to today. I hope they have some food because I haven't eaten anything. I was hoping I would find something to eat along the way, but it's, there's been nothing. So, all right, that's where we're going. Now here is some nice sidewalk action. We've got some Joshua trees along here. Nice little winding path. I'm thinking this is uh, not put here by the city. It was probably built by whatever neighborhood is behind this wall here. But I do appreciate this. So I make my last little leg of the journey down to the train station, 990 feet. So I'm at the transportation station. Very, very nice way to end it. All right, here we are at the Palmdale station. Now it's 1142. It took me 42 minutes to walk here. Uh, map said it would take 34 minutes, but I walk a little slow. <laughs> this is actually the first time in this trip I've seen the California flag. I mean, I've seen a lot of the American flag, but it's the first time I've seen the California flag. The station looks pretty small. So hopefully maybe they have at least a vending machine. It's so my train leaves in about 40 minutes. So there's a, there's a Metro Link train. This one is going, uh, I think this one's going towards Lancaster. It's too early. It's too early to be my train. I gotta figure it out. Alright, here's the station and they do have some vending machines. Oh, they even have some Lunchables and some sandwiches in here. Oh, not great options, but better than just candy, which I'm probably going to go for. All your drinks. I did bring some water from the hotel. So I've, I've got my beverage that I need.
I'm on the train. Not too crowded. Of course, I got my window seat, so I'll show you what I see along the way. It was meant to say heavy metal along the way. Vincente Grande Station. The time is wrong. Looks like a animal sanctuary with no animals in it. Crazy. Santa Clarita Station Restroom Mini Golf. Train to 18 service to Los Angeles. Our next station stop is Silmar San Fernando. This is the last call for New Hall. station. Got a little way over and then I'll get on the Orange County line going down to Irvine. Try to get some snacks, some pizza or something. Here is the lovely train that got us down here from Palmdale. We started in Lancaster. Angeles. See some more of these murals I didn't show you guys the other day. Going back into Union Station West. Gonna get something to eat. I have about an hour until uh, my next train. Uh, I'm not even sure where to get on it, but I'll figure it out. This was closed off the other day because of a private event, but it is open now. It's a nice, nice restaurant. Some soup and salads, not too bad prices. For a fancy, fancy little, little LA restaurant here in the train station. Here's uh, the old ticketing counter over here. 
beautiful. There is a really cool video. Um, this guy took a drone and flew all through these rafters. I'm not gonna link it in the description. You can find it if you really wanna see it. Look at that. Do not enter. Someone else. Information booth. Here's a bar. I don't think this bar was open the other day either. Or else I just walked right past it. I do not drink alcohol, so I do not need to venture into the tracks of bar. But it looks like a nice place to uh, to relax. It looks like it's the same as the uh, restaurant across the way. Okay, let's, let's see get a little closer look here. To have your vaccination card, which I do have. Again, I don't drink alcohol. Have another restaurant out here. Brew house. Brew house restaurants. Let's look at this menu. We have beautiful downtown LA there. There's another California flag. See the California flags at the station at the uh, stations. Nowhere else really. Burgers, twelve fifty. Fried chicken sandwich, twelve fifty. LA street dog wrapped in bacon. Yeah, I'm gonna check this place out. I got I got about an hour. So let's come into the brew house. This is the LA street dog. Alright. This is uh, way too many condiments for my liking, but let's let's go for it. Alright guys, I'm leaving the homebound brew house where I had a uh, LA street dog, but it was not made in the street, it was made in the kitchen. It was good. Uh, service was nice. Any place in Los Angeles, if you're going to eat inside, you have to show your proof of vaccination. Um, and I'm vaccinated, obviously, and I'm boosted, so I had no problem but I did see a guy come in there and wanted to sit down and they asked for his vaccination he's like okay I'm leaving and it's like that's just everything in Los Angeles you have to be vaccinated here so it's not the people who work here's fault this is the the city of LA's uh rules and everybody has to live by it because you know that's just how it is so it's time for me to Hit my next train, take the orange line down to Irvine in Orange County. We'll see this nice courtyard here. There's no smoking here. That's good. It says they just sent me a text. Oh. There were people uh, at the Palmdale Transit Center smoking marijuana right at the platform. That's fucking disgusting. Cigarette smoke is disgusting. Marijuana smoke is double disgusting in my personal opinion. But if you do it on your own, in your own home, you know, that's that's your prerogative. But to do it in a public place where other people have to smell it, it's uh, very rude and inconsiderate. Also playing uh, music on the train uh, where everybody can hear it, not like in a headphone or whatever. It's very rude. Very rude. But anyway. Very nice. Very nice station. All right. That's the way to trains. So I guess I'll figure out what train I'm getting on. I have a few minutes. 
there we go. I just walked down and figured it out. Track 11A. This is my, uh, this is my track. Going down to Orange County in about 10 minutes. And the train's already here. I'm gonna get about 10 minutes till it takes off, so I'm gonna go ahead and go down to the, to the front of the train. It's easy just to get on right here. Here we are at the Irvine Station. Whew. It's nice, 64 degrees here. It was just 90 just the other day. Let's see if my friend is here. Let's see if we can, yeah, there's a station waiting room. Passenger loading and unloading area. I see the mountains in the background and a official ballot drop box. That's pretty cool. If you wanted to get to the other side of the tracks, hopefully, friends will be here soon. And there's the prettiest chauffeur at all of Orange County. Woo! Six hours later, and here I am in Irvine. California. I jump into the hot tub. Woo woo. There is the bubbles. Woo! Is it cold or hot? Warm. Hey Leia. Hey. Thanks for inviting me to your uh, jacuzzi. You're welcome. <laughs> this is how I jacuzzi. That's how you jacuzzi. And this is a great way to end a day of train travel all throughout Southern California on Valentine's Day in a hot tub. It's a good way to end your whole California yeah. adventures. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me on this trip. Here, let's do the, let's do the thumbnail. Here, let's go. <laughs> Until next time, remember to drink water, listen to metal, enjoy nature, and have the most epic adventure.